Whoa. <laughs> you okay? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> from Earth. We're still going. We're still rolling. Whoa, stop! Hey guys, we're down at the library for another science experiment for a little scientist program. Don't hit it, bud. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Lane Fornerat, aka Lane Vids, and this channel is all about building a stronger family bond with your kids through science, art, travel, and family fun. And today we're coming down to the library because they do a little scientist thing here. I don't know what the science experiment is today, but we're gonna go find out. Come on, bud, you ready? Let's go! Don't play with banana. Banana. Take a tumble over here. <laughs> Three. Jump! Whoa! Three. Again! <laughs> Three. Jump! Also, if y'all need any of the things for this science experiment, I'll link them up down in the description below so you guys can get them on Amazon if y'all want to try this one. Let's do a sneak peek. Ooh. Ooh, there's all kinds of stuff in there. <gasps> I think we're going to learn about the solar system. Let's look this way. Ooh. Bud, you want to look? Come here. Oh, look this way. Oh, what's inside? We got scissors and glue. And then there's those buckets back there. It looks like there's flour. Ooh, I don't know what we're going to learn. It's going to be exciting. You want to see? Hey, hello. Hi, okay, I'm going to take registered people first. If any of you are new to Little Scientists, my name is Miss Sarah. Welcome. Today we are learning all about our solar system. Mercury and Venus and Earth and Mars and Jupiter and Saturn and Uranus and Neptune. And this one has Pluto, but Pluto's not a planet anymore, is it, right? We just have our eight planets. Can you show me eight on your fingers? Yeah? Five, so we're going to start six, off by reading seven, a book eight, called Space Songs Rocket Ride. So do y'all know what this is? The sun. It's the sun. It's our blazing hot ball of gas, right? The sun, which is in the middle of our solar system. What planet is this? Earth. Earth. That's Earth, that's right. If you see the rays of the moon, that's all the craters on the moon. That's right, we're gonna learn about craters in just a second. Sometimes when we look at pictures of the solar system, they all look about the same size, right? Right. Yeah? Well, we're gonna learn a little bit about actually how big or little our planets really are. And I'm gonna go grab something from the back real quick. Does anybody remember what the first planet it was? Yeah. Yeah? It was the sun. Oh, well, so we don't have the sun here because the sun's the star, right? The sun's the sun is a star. And we're talking about our planets, but right after the sun, we have Mercury. And look how tiny Mercury can be. So Mercury yeah. is really big, right? Our planets are huge. But if we're talking about how they compare to each other. Imagine this is Mercury, right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to scoop back into this little spot in the circle. So we're going to put Mercury right there. Now next we have Venus, right? This one is Venus. You see how much bigger than Mercury Venus is? Yeah. And then this is Earth. Venus and Earth are about the same size. Earth is just a little bigger. And then we have our red planet, Mars. So you see how tiny they are? Do you have any guess about which one this one is? Which one was our biggest planet? Okay. Jupiter. That's right, Jupiter. So imagine if these were the real sizes of our planets. You see how big Jupiter is compared to Earth? This is how big Jupiter is, and this is how tiny Earth is compared to it. And then we have Saturn without its rings, which is almost the same size as Jupiter. And then we have, oh my God, oh, close, this one's Uranus, and this one's Neptune. So, you see how little the planet we live on is compared to these big gas planets in the outer part of the solar system? How many can we fit on Jupiter? Almost all of them, right? a little bit almost. We just learned about the size of our planets, right? Before we learn about how far apart our planets are, do y'all want to make some craters on the moon? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The little holes. Yeah, do you know how the craters form? It has a lot of craters, right? That's because the moon doesn't have wind. 
or weather like rain or earthquakes to change the surface of the moon. So did you know there's still footprints from astronauts that walked on the moon? Because nothing's up there to disturb it. Nothing's going to make it move or change or get covered up. So that's why craters, we can see them so well. Because when something hits it, it's basically staying there for good. So that's why the moon has so many craters of why we can see them so well. Buckets of flour with a little cocoa powder mixed on top. And I'm going to give you some rocks. And rocks are going to be our asteroids and meteorites. And we're going to crash it into the moon's surface. So we have light rocks. I want you to drop them and see how asteroids, when they hit the moon's surface, they move everything out of the way and make big holes. And we're going to make big craters in our flower right now. Watch out. Wait, turn. Do you see how it pushes the flower out of the way and makes a big hole? Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. Huh? That's why the moon's so lumpy. Bunch of rocks are gonna get it. <laughs> it bounced off the moon. Okay, so, you see how whenever the rock see how it, oh it bounces? That one makes two craters, huh? Get your hands off. If you need there in the bathroom right down the hallway, we can um Alexis. Got them all cleaned off? Break my finger. Oh. No, off. All cleaned off? <laughs> I bought my finger! Whoa. So, now we're going to talk about how far apart our planets are from each other. If we really put how far apart the planets were, they wouldn't fit on this piece of paper. And we're about to show you how far they are. So I want everyone to split. We need a runway down the middle of the room. So we have our sun, right? We're going to put our sun right over here. Toilet paper, that's right. We're going to stretch out our toilet paper to show you how far apart our planets are. So we have our sun, right? And everything orbits the sun. The sun stays in the middle. So when we put our toilet paper, oh, let's see, let me get my planet. So y'all see the two squares? That's how far away Mercury would be. Okay. Now we're going to keep rolling. We have Venus right here, about five squares out is where Venus would be. And then we have Earth, our third planet where we live is about right here. And then we have Mars right there. So you see how we're kind of bunched up, we're pretty close to each other, close to the sun. Yeah. The other four planets are way, way out there. So we're going to keep rolling the toilet paper, okay? So where do you think, I want guesses, do you think we're going to go three more squares before we hit our next uh, planet? Four more? What about five? Oh, Let's see. Let's keep rolling. Oh, there's our next mark. Look. This is where Jupiter is. Look how far Jupiter is from oh, Mars. That's, that's crazy. crazy, right? Okay, and we're going to keep rolling. Oh, wow. Keep rolling. Whoa. And now we have Saturn. Look how far Saturn is from Jupiter, wow. from Earth. Yeah, y'all walk with me, okay? And now this is where it gets crazy, okay? Uranus is even further out there. Let's roll. No one stand behind me because I will bump into you. Okay, let's see. Where is it going to be? We're still going. We're still rolling. Whoa, stop. Now we have Uranus. Oh, wow. Do you think we can make it all the way to the wall for Neptune? Yes. Let's yes. see how far we go. How far are we going? We're still rolling. Whoa. There's Neptune. Okay. Is that crazy, bud? Oh, listening ears. Listening ears. Yes, that must be the coldest planet. I think this is our coldest planet. It's definitely our windiest planet. So this is Neptune, and where Leland and Gavin are is where our sun is. Look how far away they are. Okay, take one last minute to see just how far apart they are. We're making solar system headbands, um, which I'll show you in a second. I want you to color your planets, and then cut around the lines, and we're gonna glue them on the headbands in the middle, and then we're gonna wear them home, okay? Thank you for letting me borrow that. 
some more crayons. All right, y'all gonna color it? Color. Which planet's blue? This one and this one? Yeah, this is Neptune and this is Uranus. This one's Neptune and this is Uranus. Hey, was that fun? Y'all like the little scientists? All right. So, if you guys want more videos from us, make sure to click that subscribe button, hit the bell, that way you get notified of our videos, and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. No, bud, that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Again, if you need any of the things for this science project, which it was basically flour and cocoa, you can get that down in the description below. If you guys wanna watch more of our videos, I'm gonna put some more videos right there on the screen. I'd love it if you guys watched more of our videos. Click that subscribe button, would definitely appreciate that. And also, if you do decide to subscribe, make sure to hit the bell, that way you actually get notified of our videos. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being... Shake I mean, shake daddy planet shake.